Jimmy here with a custom extruding tutorial. Um, I'm also announcing slash releasing rig version 6.4. It's a pretty small update, which is why it's not going to have its own separate video. Um, anyways, anything, there's, there's a change log. You can look at that for what's new. Um, main thing that's new, though, is the addition of, well, first off, the, there's now a camera in the scene, and I kind of have some hdri based lighting so it's all set up and if you want to just do a render right away you can do that also um i added bend types for the limbs the arms and the legs so right now by default it's sharp bends and that's what the other rig was there's a um a no bend so um, you can see that better for this if you do no bends it's you can still use IK if you want to make like minecrafty stuff and then you can also do smooth bends which is pretty cool and I'll let you know that if you are custom extruding with sm smooth bends you're gonna have to do it a different way than custom extruding with sharp bends because of the way it works I use. So um, for custom extruding, first what you're going to want to do is on um, select restricted select so you can actually select the meshes that you are trying to extrude. So um, I would say there's a couple things you might want to enable depending or not if you have a number pad on your keyboard. If you do have a number pad, you should be good. But if you don't have another pad, num number pad, you're going to want to go to add ons. And, um, I don't remember what it's called. All right, I figured it out. You're gonna wanna add a add-on called 3D nav Navigation. It's already in Blender under Community. You can just search Navigation and it should show up. So there you go. Um, once you do that, hit Save User Settings. So make that check, Save User Settings. Once you do that, you'll find a little tab down here called Navigation. Um, and I'm gonna start screencast here. So, if you don't have a number pad, then you might want to be able to use this as a kind of substitute. So, what I like to do is select the mesh that I'm gonna custom extrude, and then press number pad slash, which is kind of above the eight on my keyboard at least. And what that does is it kind of shows just that object. But if you don't have a number pad, you're going to hit view to select. Or, nope, oh, that's the wrong one. View local, that's the one, okay. <laughs> you want to do view local and global. We'll do what you're trying to do. So once you get to this area, you're going to want to hit either tab or object mode to edit mode. And now you can select you're gonna want to select the parts you want to extrude and then what you're gonna I would say with the hat layer I'm, what I'm gonna start with is selecting all the transparent textures that are not going to be in it so a nice thing you can do is hold press C and if you scroll down or up it will affect the size of the selection circle and then if you left click it will start to select whatever you're hovering over but note when you're doing that so like I can't move the camera when it's like this, so I have to right click to get that so that I can move the camera again. So C, left click. If I middle click, it will deselect, and if I click left click, it will select. So that's a nice way to be able to select all the meshes you want, and you don't have to worry about misclicking because you can just middle click to deselect it. So, might take a while, because <laughs> it's custom extruding, so I might fast forward this part. Alright, that looks like I have them all selected. Oh, there's one. Just want to make sure you have all of them. Alright, now since these are the transparent ones, I'm just going to hit X and then delete. Or just, nope, delete faces. 
um, and it still looks the same. Now what I'm going to start doing is separating the different things that I might want extruded at different lengths or whatever. So I'm going to start by selecting the hair part of the hat layer, then I'm going to press P and then separate selection. And then select the headphones. I'm going to press P and then separate selection and then I should be good because it's already separated. Then I'm going to press the numpad slash or this button again so that I can get out of that. So basically what you did is you made each of these parts their own separate object, I guess. Um, now what you can do is go to modifiers, uh, select whichever one you want to do first, and then add modifier, solidify, and then just increase the thickness. Uh, you might notice that it's kind of a little weird. What you can do is hit even thickness, and it will look a little better. Um, note though that even thickness will glitch out on the arms, so hopefully I mean, it doesn't look that bad, if, especially if you're not doing a layer, if it's like extruding outwards. Um, so extruding outwards is like that, extruding inwards is pretty simple. You just play with the value. Uh, what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to make it go inwards. But then I'm going to add another solidify modifier, make this one go outwards a bit, <laughs> so that, oops, I don't want to press C. Um, and that's just so that, maybe not that much, I could probably even thickness that, oh, that's a little buggy. Um, it's just so that this is a little, the headphones go for out farther than the hoodie. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, for the hair, one thing you could just do solidify and then have it go inwards. Um, but you might notice that like right here at this part, it looks a little weird. And that's because of the angle and stuff, even thickness. Oh, uh, that kind of fixes it, but not really. So what I might do is press tab or go to edit mode and then hit just that one pixel, hit P, hit the wrong button P, and then make it by selection so that it is its own object and it's just not being deformed like that. Um, I don't think I have to do that for any other... Oh, yeah, I would also do it with this one. Mm, yeah, that looks pretty good. <sighs> and there you go, that's the first part to custom extruding. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is the head, which is pretty much the same. So you can separate it. Um, A can select all or deselect all. C, I'm going to select the hair. Um, now there's a kind of a special thing you have to do with the head if you're... Um, going to, if you're planning to use the face, enable face with this rig, <laughs> because if you don't do a special thing, the, your custom screwed part will just disappear when you enable the face, so I add solidify, I can extrude it outwards, and even thickness if I want, that's a little weird here, but I don't know, I kind of like it round sometimes anyways, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's custom extruded. Uh, next thing I can do, uh, I don't recommend doing this if you have a slower computer, but under shading, you can hit ambient occlusion. It kind of just gives it a little bit of shading so that you can kind of see it better. And yeah. So yeah, that looks pretty good, but you'll notice if I select go to the properties and I enable the face, that part goes away. It's not there anymore and um that's because the this this head that is now two pieces um that it hides and it replaces it with a head that has the face and stuff on it so in order to fix that you're going to want to right click the part you want to stay 
which is the extruded part. So you want this to still go away, but you want this to stay. And then you'll have to find it in the, um, uh, will you have to? Yeah, I think you'll have to find it. Yeah, you have to find it in this, um, what is this called? File Explorer, I think? Outliner. You'll have to find it in the Outliner. So it's... Oh, okay, no face. Head underscore no face. And then the no face 001, because that's a separate object. So this is the one we have selected. You're going to want to right click on the purple eye and hit delete driver. And then on the purple camera and hit delete driver. Now, if I enable face, it is still extruded. So that is how you make sure that works. And then I can, you know, do that. So basically, with all the other parts, since there's no textures on this, I'm just going to delete that. No textures on this, I'll delete that. No textures on this layer, I'm going to delete that. Um, uh, torso, it's basically the same thing. You just for, uh, select what you want, hit P, selection. And for everything that you're extruding at different length, just separate them. So like that, and I'll also separate the creeper part on the back of my skin. And I could also do C, I don't know. So yeah. Um, oh, okay, for the torso there is a little bit of a special thing. You'll notice that that's not right. It's just because you need to hit this little arrow so it's above the edge split. And then it will look fine. And the edge split is just a modifier that's, um, that's making it, oh, what's the word, it just makes it look smoother. Just leave the creeper at it, and I'll leave that at the default. Uh, for the arms, you can also do that the same way. Um, however, that's only if you're going to end up using sharp bends. So first, I'm just going to show you that you can do it that way. But I'm going to show you what happens if you enable smooth bends if you do it this way. And you can custom extrude it with smooth bends. It's just different. Or there's a different way to do it. So if I, I don't know how much I made this. Negative. Yeah, okay. It's just about the same. Um. So if I do that out, like that, I guess. And yeah, it's extruded and it works with this. However, if I enable smooth bends, you'll see. Yeah, that's not right. It's like that. It's a little weird. So, you might ask, how do I do that with smooth bends? Well, I'll show you. So, um, first you're going to want to select like everything you're going to extrude at all. Um, you're going to kind of want to do it in layers. So, for example, with my arm, the gray part extrudes out a little bit, and then the green part extrudes out even more so I'm gonna select both of those parts and then hit alt E and then regen vertice normals and then I can extrude that out kind of at a value that I think is appropriate which I don't remember how much I did for solidify but I think that's about right then I can select just the green part and do that again, Alt E, whoops, I hit R, Alt E, region vertices, and extrude that out just a little bit more. Um, you'll notice though, there is one problem, and that's the, um, this isn't UV mapped correctly. So this is a little more advanced, but if you hold Alt, and then right click just right in the corner, it should select all that, otherwise you can just kind of go through and select each face. But the faster way, if you get it right in the corner, it looks like that. Um, 
Then you're going to want to switch A panel to the UV map or image, UV image editor. So I'm just going to select this one and change it to this. And you'll notice each pixel. You're going to want to press G and then just move that up 